this is Dr. Hayek. In this video, I'm going to go through question six uh, from the 2016 AP Chemistry exam on, in the free response part. Now the question says, the polyatomic ion C10H12N2O8 four minus is commonly abbreviated as EDTA four minus. The ion can form complexes with metal ions in aqueous solutions. A complex of EDTA4- with Ba2 plus ion forms according to the equation above. So we have Ba2 plus plus EDTA4- in equilibrium with the complex ion Ba EDTA2-. The equilibrium constant is given as 7.7 .7 times 10 to the power 7. A 50.0 milliliter volume of a solution that has an EDTA4- concentration of 0 0.30 molar is mixed with 50.0 milliliter of 0 0.20 molar barium nitrate solution to produce 100 milliliter of solution. The first question is, considering the value of K for the reaction, Determine the concentration of the complex ion Ba EDTA2- in the 100 milliliter of solution. Justify your answer. Now, the question says, considering the value of K. Based on the value of K, which is considered large, the reaction goes essentially to completion. So, Ba2 plus is the limiting reactant. Now, why Ba2 plus is the limiting reactant? Because the Ba2 plus and EDTA4 minus react in a ratio of 1 to 1. Now, looking at the volume and concentration of EDTA4 minus and volume and the concentration of barium nitrate, we can see that the resulting numbers of mole will be smaller for barium nitrate. So that's why barium is going to be the limiting reactant. Now, the concentration of Ba2+, when the solutions are first mixed, but before any reaction, will be half of the original one because the volume is doubled. It used to be 50, and now it's 100. So the number of mole of the complex ion Ba EDTA2- minus is going to be equal to the number of mole of Ba2+, plus, and therefore the concentration of the complex ion will be the same as the one for Ba2+. Plus. So the equilibrium concentration of Ba EDTA2- minus is 0 0.10 molar as well. Now let's move on to the next part. The question says, the solution is diluted with distilled water to a total volume of one liter. After equilibrium has re-established, is the number of mole of Ba2 plus present in the solution greater than, less than, or equal to the number of moles of Ba2 plus present in the original solution before it was diluted? Justify your answer. Now we can answer this question in two different ways. We can either say the number of mole of Ba2 plus will increase because the percent dissociation of the complex ion will be higher as the solution is diluted. Or we can just use the reaction quotient Q. Now the solution was diluted 10 times since the volume was increased from 100 milliliter to 1 liter. The expression of the reaction quotient Q is similar to that of the equilibrium constant except that we use the uh, initial concentrations. If we replace the initial concentrations by 1 over 10 multiplied by the equilibrium concentrations, we get that Q equals 10 times k. Therefore, if q is greater than k, the equilibrium will shift to the left, to the reactant side, to form more reactants, since Ba2 plus is a reactant, so the number of mole of Ba2 plus will increase. 
So the answer will be the number of mole of Ba2 plus will be greater than the number in the original solution. I hope this video is helpful to you. So please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.